My name is Agnes Roro. I'm a doctoral fellow at Strathmore Business School. The decision to take up doctoral studies was the hardest for me. One, because I was already in a comfortable job, or, or, or so I would say. It was a job that I was happy with. It was a docket that I enjoyed every single day of it. And so when I looked at what possibilities there are, the first question I asked myself is, the PhD studies from what I have known are extremely heavy, so would I manage to do both? So when I got to know about the predoctoral workshop, it sort of answered my question because then I knew I'm going to learn about the journey before I get in depth into the PhD. So what did I expect when I was coming into the predoctoral? I was expecting uh, to know exactly what the PhD journey is like and I got exactly that and I'll, I'll unpack for you that answer. I remember one of the pre-readings that Professor Africa Arino had given us is her own piece of writing and uh, you start to realize you want to be that person who's a well-respected figure uh, in the, in the uh, academic world. One thing I learned in the predoctoral workshop is your research question is everything. If you don't have a research question, you, your journey has not begun yet. And so throughout the five days, a uh, professor was trying to help us to narrow down and gain clarity on what our research question is. And so your group members became your accountability partners in the sense that they would help you to find clarity, they would help you to fine tune your question and even to narrow down. Again, something else I learned from the PhD uh, is that um, your master's is actually a course where you learn everything because you need all those things in your leadership and your managerial job and your day to day. But a PhD, you narrow your focus to one small thing, you get to know everything about it and know it well. So that depth is important and I got to know that only when I got to the predoctoral workshop. Research is incremental. Hmm? We build on the hours work and we add to that mostly in an incremental way. So one of the things that were very beneficial for me is the afternoon sessions where you would sit in a group, you present your uh, topic, and then in the afternoons you would go and make your own presentation in class. So you would get a lot of feedback now from the group as well as from the class, from the professor as well. So knowing that you need a good research proposal, I went to class knowing I have to put the bits and pieces in place because that was the only thing that would get me a good admission into a good school. Then something else that I learned is that at PhD level you become an independent scholar. All along in my life I, I would go to a class because I want to learn. Now when you're learning you sit ready to absorb everything. Now the journey of PhD it's the other way. You go into a PhD to add to what has already been done. Meaning, you're going to actually add no, to the body of knowledge. You're going to add knowledge to the community of practice. And so for me, it, it, it actually already took me back to start thinking of myself as somebody who should be ready to add to that knowledge and also to transfer and share it. So it, 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 it gave me a very broad but good picture of what the journey that lies ahead looks like. Then on the class composition, the connotation that PhD is for those who are in academia, it's a myth, it's not so. Because a lot of us were working outside of academics. And so what happened is that all of us came with different perspectives, which enriched the discussions as we were going by. And, and you actually also learn that uh, in the PhD journey, it's not so much about you and what you know. It's about being able to articulate something in a logical way. Meaning, if my area is leadership, somebody else who has nothing to do with leadership as a discipline can be able to look at my piece of work and be able to tell me whether it is communicating something or not. So you don't really need to be in the same discipline to add value to somebody else's work. So yes, the class composition for me it helped us a lot to 
understand and appreciate each other's input. If you're not very sure whether you're ready for the PhD or for your DBA, it is very important for you to, to look for such kind of setup. A pre-doctoral workshop is only five days. I think here at SBS is also highly discounted for the value that you get. So it helps you to see the journey that you're just about to embark on. And because it's a long journey, it's good to know exactly how that journey will look like.